World number one, Matt Wilkinson, now can call this familiar territory for himself to be on top of the Jeep leaderboard. Now taking on wildcard Michael February, representing Cape Town, South Africa. Mikey February, currently number four on the qualifying series as he's hoping to join Jordy Smith to represent South Africa on the top 34. Waves coming through right now. Matty Wilco looking like he's interested in this one, Joe. Wilkinson kicking off the matchup further down the point in February. Gets the first turn out of the way. Set up hack. He's starting to try to swing down the line. Hard off the bottom. Nice clean vertical. And fills in the gaps with that fading cutback. World number one jamming it in the pocket. Creating some space on this inside track. Multiple turns to this inside runner section. Lofty rooftop float. He'll just pack it to kick out on the inside corner. He can serve tough waves really well. February looking to answer. Ton of speed. Now he's gonna flow off the lip for a big float. Can he get back out in front? He does. Nice sweep back into the pocket. This one's got some wave face to work with. Nice clean carve in the source, and now a little layback kept off the top. February keeping it fresh and creative. Another tight top turn jam. There's that spring off the bottom, and he gets out of there. He's looking comfortable, he's looking relaxed. I think, uh, you know, as we saw our man on his wave, Wilco looked a little shaky off there, but freestyle, you can see him. He's just loving it up into that nice float, big carve into the bowl, coming around the bottom, another big sweep into the lip there. I mean, beautiful style, just connection and timing, and he's not done. You can hear the crowd start going wild here on the inside, and he just starts banking away with that vibe all the way through the inside, crushing turn after turn, and he's out. Beautiful ride for February. Good, man. Strider, we're breaking this one down again. How critical is that first decision, Potts? Yeah, I, I was almost thinking it was a bad decision, Joe. It kind of hung him up there a little bit, wiped off a bit of speed. That next turn could have been a little bit more dynamic, but then he started finding the groove. Now he starts to open up, starts to show a little bit of variety. And this is the benefit of being a frontsider out here, is that you've got that ability to, to, to mix it up a little bit, to show that point of difference at cloud break, but second consecutive final. Let's see what his first wave looked like. Oh, a tricky little takeoff there for Matty Wilco. First turn though, nice. Now he starts to get the groove going down the line, down the line, almost muffed it right there as well, but then straight up through the lip. So Matty Wilco, one of the best backhand approaches in the game, really. Once he gets that momentum going, once he gets that swing happening, beautiful lightning fast turn again. He's got that wide stance. He's got the ability to, to, to let those fins slide as well and still keep that down the line momentum. So, Matty Wilco pulling into the end section. Scores are dropping though, Joe, and I think variety being key factor out here this morning. Wilco already ready to answer. Setting up his first turn here. Swings off the top. Nice clean start. Throws the fins out just a touch. Another tight jam right on the money. Clean snap again. Here comes this inside section, and he's running out of water. He's able to pick his board back up and get the completion. Save some for later on in the day. Not in this case. He needs to let it all hang out. Let's have a look. First turn. Nice little snap to get things going. Up and over the top. Almost lost it right there, but Matty will go around the section again. Now he recovers. Back-to-back -back turns from Matty Wilco around the section. He's got time for one more turn to that little free-fall drop over the dry ledge. He kind of has to, really. He will get the chip in, Potts. February looking to answer. Needs a 6.10 for a lead change. Beautiful high line wrap. Another clean carve in the pocket, and that's oh. not going to give him the inside double up. So forced to kick out, priority back to Matt Wilkinson. Qualify for the championship tour? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's always good to surf good waves with the best surfers in the world. That's the difference with the QS. You surf the shittest waves with, uh, with some of the best surfers in the world. Um, yeah, that's the struggle on the QS, surfing the bad waves. And yeah, I guess it's a reward when you get onto the CT. And I mean, you know, if Jordy's uh, tagging you as a threat, he's obviously been on tour with your brother um, Dane filming the movie. You guys are really good friends. How does that dynamic change when you hit the water? 
that just left chasing more. 6-1-0. He's found a little opportunity. Will Wilka let him go? He's going to play some defense and close out this heat up and out with 15 seconds to go. So Potts, Jordy Smith survives a close one against Dale Staples. And Matt Wilkinson gets past Mikey February in pretty challenging conditions. Yeah, well, that wind, as I said before, has uh, has literally come flying around the corner and Matty Wilco dodges a bullet right there. That was uh, shaping up to be a very close hit, but Matty Wilco breezing through towards the end of that.